What is the best piece of advice you've gotten? Well, probably do what you love. Um, you know, I, I, I kept thinking about uh, back when I was going through that dilemma in, in school. Uh, my dad, I love my dad to death, and he's been incredibly supportive. But when I was a kid, and he and I have talked about this, cause, and he understands why I say it. I don't mean any disrespect. When I was a kid, he used to always use the expression, boy, if, if I didn't have to work, I would blah, 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 blah. I would do this. I'd coach basketball all the time, but I got to go to work. And I thought, you know what? I don't want to feel like that. I don't want to feel like that my job that I'm going to spend a lot of hours doing is a burden. I want to do what I want to do. Um, and so that motivated me to find the thing that I would do for nothing because it's fun and I enjoyed it. Um, and I think that it's, it's really important. And I think that, frankly, if there are more people out there doing what they love to do, we'd all be a heck of a lot happier. Um, uh, and then the other thing, don't ever quit. Um, and you know, who knows? when that opportunity is going to come when you finally sort of cross that threshold into starting a real career where you can really just do that and make a living. Just don't quit. And especially in the beginning, do whatever you can get your hands on. In the, in the moment it might seem silly, but you know, especially as you're first starting out, like I tell these young actors, the more things you're able to do, like, I've done commercials and voiceovers and industrials and industrial theater. I've done live theater. I do film and TV. And the more things you can do, the more chances there are to work. So do anything you can get your hands on um, to expand your craft, to expand your opportunities, to expand your network. The other thing you always got to remember is whoever you're working with today, you don't know what they're going to be working on next. And who knows where they might take you and who knows what you could do together. So... Just don't ever quit. If it's really what you love to do, then it's not about um, where you got to get at a certain point. It's that it's, it's more about a sense of personal fulfillment. Because, you know, I believe that we all have a gift. Um, I, I, I think back to the, uh, Mike Singletary, who played for the Bears when he got inducted into the Hall of Fame. He said his mom used to tell him is that you have greatness within you. Your job is to go out there and live it. And I believe that, you know, we're all here for a reason. There's all something that we were meant to do. Find out what that is, and then don't ever quit. Just, just find a way to do it to make you happy, fulfilled, make a living, and, uh, you know, I think we'll all be a whole lot better off. You have an acting studio, right? No. no. Uh, I taught <laughs> class here a uh, number of years back. Uh, I had my own class. I helped uh, open the company acting studio here in town. Um, but I got out of that. But recently, though, uh, I, I stumbled upon a position as an adjunct professor at SCAD. And I teach acting for the camera at SCAD here in Atlanta. Um, they just, uh, within the last year, decided to start an acting program here. And I was the first acting teacher they hired. And uh, so I've been teaching acting for the camera at SCAD. Uh, which is really fun. Um, I've always, I, I had a great college experience. I, I like the college life, and, and I always thought about what it would be like to teach in college. And uh, I really enjoy it. There's a good bunch of kids. And I'm enjoying the fact that even though they're pretty much pretty raw and inexperienced, there's something about uh, working with them at that level to instill a work ethic. Uh, as well as give them an idea, not just of the craft, but how to succeed in the business. Because I went to UCLA, I got a great degree in theater, they taught me the craft of acting, but they didn't teach me how to get a job. I had to go to another guy once I got out of school to teach me how to get a job. So what I'm trying to do is combine the two and work on the craft, but also always trying to find the, the connected dots between that and how to apply that in the real world. And then we also talk about headshots and resumes and websites and agents and unions and all of that kind of stuff. So that not only are they hopefully going to leave there with a decent command of the craft, but an understanding about how to compete in the real world, which I think in the end is going to make them more valuable to their agent uh, once they get one, um, and hopefully make them more productive. So I'm enjoying that. And 
it's only part-time right now and, and they're fine with my work schedule because fortunately I still work a lot. Um, but their thing at SCAD is they want instructors who are working professionals. So it, it's been a good fit for me and I enjoy that very much. Thank you.